So Evolution XOS has been updated with another new version. This time, this is also based on August update and also having the Android 16 update, also 11.1. .1. But we have some more changes as compared to the previous version. So just wanted to let you know, if you want to use Evolution XOS, what about the latest version? What are the new things, features, everything in this video we'll talk about. So make sure to watch this video till the end. This one is having August security patch. September security patch is also coming very soon with the QPR1 update. Let's see how it goes. But for now, this is what we have. Some of the changes which we are getting with this new update includes this brightness slider shape with this new update. We have now more new brightness slider shapes available. And this might be the first customization thing regarding quick settings panel brightness slider with this new brightness slider actually because this there was a new brightness slider introduced with Android 16 update. This will actually come in a good shape, in a good stage with QPR1 stable, but we still have some customizations including that, so that's good. Also, we have some minor tweaks in some icons in Evolution XOS, customization evolver icons and so on. There are a lot of improvements from some previous updates, so that's good. It's getting more and more stable now. If you move on to some notification options, you will see the option named as small landscape notifications show notifications smaller in width in notification panel in landscape mode this might be useful for uh, useful for some of the users for some it might not be but it's here another thing is by default keyboard attest i mean this attestation key attestation demo which means bootloader is not locked it is not spoofed but if you have a working key box if you can find out one one of those working key boxes then you will be able to pass strong integrity and also you'll be able to spoof bootloader also have other spoofing options already integrated for example pixel props and so on and by the way these pixel props are now updated to pixel 10 pro so if you are one of the users who want to try out some amazing new things having some amazing features in google photos and so on some of the features can be actually enabled with the help of pixel props and now that is actually updated to pixel 10 pro so which means you might even get google one premium for free of course a trial for free for one year not so sure but i guess you can explore in case you want to although it's not a major deal breaker of course we have circle to search you already know we have app cloner which is a useful thing for some for some it might not be this is not as great as parallel space available with android 13 based custom roms but it's still good and if it's something is better than nothing as we always say we still have sidebar options available but it does not have further customizations which you just noticed in lunaris aosp is one of the custom rooms i shared previously that brings you more sidebar customizations i guess that is also present with rising os revived but in this case it's not there we have some boot animation tweaks available but this is one of the only few custom rooms which brings you a lot of boot animation styles and by default i guess very few custom rooms are giving you these kind of boot animation options and some of these boot animations just good all the previous amazing custom rooms like dirty unicorn cyanogen mode resurrection remix and so on we have some other options for example more themed icons by default it has pixel launcher and if you enable this more themed icons options your default icons which are not in themed by default will be themed so that's also quite good we also have the quick setting header images available so yes if in case you want to use them you can uh, with the latest android 16 style quick settings panel it's actually good there are a lot of options a lot of things available here for you to customize to configure so definitely you can go and explore there are a lot of other options available in this case so in case you want to give it a try you can this evolution xos custom room is having a lot of other options too like notifications as i just told you we have compact heads up notification it also brings you this edge lighting i personally don't use it much but it's available so yes in case you want to use it you can we have a lot more other things available in case you want to give it a try you can Evolution XOS custom ROM based on Android 16 official version is available for many other devices also. But if your device does not support that, you might even get the unofficial version because this is open source. So maybe it is available. Even if it is not available unofficially, you can still give it a try with the help of GSI. So yes, this is it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and also I will see you in the next one. Take care.